And by nice, I Thanks mean heavy or back. What you need? What right, else? Here's what we got today. Uh, you have ammunition. You have a tire iron. Eleven for the Glock mags. All right. No, I'm interested how much would uh, big fat guy ask for them. Uh, where am I going? I'm going that way. Because I just finished my quest for world domination. Where to? Downtown. Edgar Allan Poe. Hi, I see hey. that your nipples are erect. Uh, I know this might seem creepy and all, but please don't blow me off, okay? No, Someone you blow me. I you here. I mean, I've been looking all over for you since that night. Because I just wanted to... I'm in your debt. I want to help you. I owe you my life, and I feel like I need to repay you. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm Heather. Heather Poe. I'm not weirding you out or anything, am I? No. I knew you would return. You may be useful to me. I can be. I know I can. I'll do everything I can for you. I look here, here. I, I got you this. I thought you might be able to use it. I can be useful to you. I'd do anything. Just tell me you'll let me help you. Let me stay with you. Make me feel this way. If you want to feel like that, then you are going to have to earn it. Really? I promise you won't regret it. Promise! I'll get you money, I'll get you things, everything. I want to be... important to you. You are going to be my little blood bag. As long as you are so, you will have some importance to me. Uh, I know where you live. I check there first. I'll wait for you at your place. And when you do come back, I'll take care of whatever you want. I'd do anything for you. Not anything is going to be a lot of things, actually. Do that and clean up the place a little, would you? Later, Heather. Run. Uh, let me check out the goods. Eh. 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 Well, at least they are plunging about. And as I said, uh, she is uh, very interest interested, excited to see me. Now the real question is, did my going in there checking out the sarcophagus, getting the fuck out was... Uh, Policemen are shooting at me, <laughs> going to count as uh, no bloodshed. <laughs> because if no, I'm redoing the quest. Evening, Missy. You back to see Mr. Lacroix again? That's right. Yeah, he told me to send you up as soon as you came in. Lots of people here to see Mr. Lacroix. Nice guy. He seems a little different, though. You wonder if he's ah, uh, that's his business. How is it going, Chunk? Ah, you know, I'm keeping the undesirables out and the innocent safe and secure. I'm the thin blue line that separates the crazies from the hard-working decent folks. Yep, as long as I'm around, Mr. LaCroix's got nothing to worry about. I'm sure he appreciates that you are here to protect him. See you, Chunk. Get your hands off that. Sorry. But I want to play with it.
That's a chandelier. I've said all I need to for now. Okay, that's two Toreadors, uh, boss, and the Trimir guy, who apparently likes to blow his cape. Glorious. Is there anything I can steal from you in your insight? I don't have time for a monologue. Give me the bullet points of what you saw. Every crewman on the board was massacred. There weren't any survivors. And the Ankaran sarcophagus. What did you see? There was blood all over the floor. And prints indicate that it was opened from within. Opened? Let's not jump to conclusions. Give me the manifest in your notes. I'll sort this mess later. You might have noticed when you came in. The parade of malingering mollycoddles filing out. Yeah, who were they? Those were the Primogen, this city's clan elders, a worrisome bunch devoted first and foremost to the security of their own skin, which is why they were here. It seems Alistair Grout, the Malkavian Primogen, has either forgotten how to answer his phone or is missing. The Sabbat's appearance has put the Primogen on edge. Grout's mansion is in the Hollywood Hills. I need you to pry Grout out of whatever crack he's crawled into and have him contact us. Certainly, is that all? Yes, for the moment. You know, your demeanor thus far bears similar characteristics to those that rise to the top of this organization. Stay that course. Thank you, sir. Now about Grout. Yes, about Grout. As I said, Grout is the Malkavian primogen. His behavior and home are eccentric, to say the least. He's developed a paranoid bent lately, so you may have to check under every bed in the place for him. I have a few questions to ask before I go. I suppose I can spare a few seconds. Uh, something Which else? Is... When we hear from Grout, you may come back. Until then. Until then. Oh, and to show my appreciation for your dedicated service to me, I have secured you a haven nearby, in the Skyline Apartment Building. I hope it's to your liking. Thank you. Time I go to move there too. A goal that I, uh, by the way, made. Just saying. Those are supposed to be, you know. Uh... How it's called in English? Uh, I guess that. Boom. I heard a boom. Where did the boom come from? Alrighty. So, the prince wishes you to contact Alistair Grau, the Malkavian Primogen. You should try looking for him at his mansion on the outskirts of town. You have successfully completed your task uh, abroad, the Elizabeth Dane, and reported back to the prince. Very well. In that case. I think... I will try this once again. I have a few more points to spend. Oh, before I do that... I will need... Uh, Munitions, yes. Those would be very important. Indeed. Crab nipple, yes. Uh, maybe I could uh, talk to these guys once again. Let's see if they have new dialogue options. So what'd you find out? 
It was a slaughter. What are reason the sarcophagus killed everyone? No kidding. Well, I guess there's got to be something in there then, huh? The Camarilla is going to be scraping for answers when this gets out. You think it was ancient then? You believe in the legends? It's in the air, all right. I've been around longer than most kid. I've felt the change in the past few decades. It's in the blood. We're racing towards something and picking up speed all the time. Yeah, I smell what you are cooking. You've seen the evidence with your own eyes. You're caught up in all of this. I wish I knew where it was leading. So, other than that, what else is new? Still working for Lacroix. Where you headed now? To find the missing Malkavian implement. So, a Malk's gone ain't wall. That caught Lacroix off guard. I don't know how he's dodged a hundred years of the sunrise. I wanted to ask some questions. Sure thing, kiddo. Fire away. Uh, something else. What's on your mind? Come on. What about him? Don't they sometimes get in the way? Ah, man, we got our own problems. Let the kin sink or swim. I'm out of here. Very well. What about you? Nothing new. What about you? I have nothing. Two minutes, newbie. All the time I've got to spare right now. Tell me about uh, LA. LA? It's always had problems. Always had a mean streak. Earthquakes, fires, riots. And for the Anarchs, the Camarilla, the Sabbat, the Quay Jin have all tried to steal it away. People say these nights are bleak, but then, haven't we always been damned? Why LA? Seems like all the dreamers, the misfits, the pioneers all drift west. After LA, though, it's all Pacific. Maybe we all just collect here when there's nowhere else to go. But a lot of us like it here, and we fought to keep it ours for a long time. You must have learned a lot in uh, that time. Any advice? All right, this might help you out. I use guns, but most vamps get up close and personal. In that case, the thing to do is to let him come in for the attack first, and dodge it or take it in the gut. Then use your blade to deliver the death blow. Time's up. Come around in a few nights if you're still alive. Maybe I'll have time to go, but I doubt it. Well, my stud just increased. It was my... Combat defense? Oh no, it might have been my melee combat. Don't know, don't care. What I will do though is now try to fucking solve the stupid uh, plague bearer cooled bullshit. Uh, I also need to find uh, my friend first. The fat one. That can get me guns. Okay, not this way. Because I need some ordnance. Well, hello there. Baby girl, you know. I need some shopping, check it out, Larry. Check it out, step right up. 16, 11. Check it out, check it Didn't out, you step say right you're going to give me a thing? A yo, 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 I got dinosaur discount. Eggs. We don't know what kind. Buy them in head from it. Got a Galapagos turtle. This week only. Okay, the rest of them take. Should I take the music? 
Uh, let's stun lethality against my knight. Not much of an upgrade. Yo, 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 I got dinosaur eggs. We don't know what kind. Buy them and hatch them. Very well. Uh, let's see. I need to upgrade my research because I have some books that I want to learn. So it's either going to be a 6 or an 8. I'm going to go with... Oh, it actually helps with my intimidation bit. Yes, intelligence is very much needed if you want to intimidate somebody. That's that. I don't really use intimidation, so I'm going to go with... Uh, scholarship, because it actually increases my persuasion as well. Okay, you are unknown, you... No means no, a woman's guide to self defense on the college campus is available. Oh, nice, read. I will need melee ability of two at least to use this item. Okay. My melee ability is. I could raise that. Accept. If you have gained insight, willpower, and uh, form from your first two years of Kendo, you are now ready for the secrets of the Kendo Masters. Here is the one ancient rule every warrior must remember. Only one can land the killing strike. Hit the kill zone or hit nothing. If you cannot control your attack, you are dead. This book raises your melee skill. Glorious. No, not AP. Yes, my melee skill is now fucking three. I might be able to, uh, you know, hack and slash correctly now. Okay, I'm going to enter the sewers, even though I'm a fucking venture, and this is pretty much a no-no place for me. I just want to see how much... Uh, okay, I think... I think my... Uh, No, I still have a big uh, wind up. Okay, so what I was checking out is uh, how fast is my melee attacks, because that's the main problem right now with the killer guy, the priest. Now the question is if uh, Mrs. Hook me up has a little bit of a money for me, that would be nice. Money, right? I've got your cut right here. Thanks. Do we have anything new? Nope.
What are you doing? Ah. Glorious. So let me check. We have one and a half hour. Kind of. Okay, so it's time to deal with the. Well, actually, we are going to check out our Miss Heather first. We live on the fourth floor. Yes. Okay. Why, right, thank you. Heather, I got an item for you that you need to take care of. It's a boom boom. Oh, why, thank you. Oh my. By the way, was my apartment like this all the time? I think uh, Mr. Sebastian Rafleroy went out his way to um, make it a little bit uh, prettier for the van through what we are. Glorious. Okay. Boom. I'm so glad you're back. I've been waiting here just like you asked. Your place is um nice. If you have any complaints, you can leave. Is there something I can do for you? Anything? Just ask. I'll bend over the table with you. There's something you should know before we go on. Oh. Are you married? Is that why you don't want me around? No, you survived because of my blood. I'm a vampire and you know, you are bound to me. Actually, no. I'm a vampire. You're my blood-bound servant. Still love me. What? Uh, you're joking, right? That's like slang for something like catcher or some fetish term, right? Not like a blah, blah, vampire, right? Don't you understand? I have chosen you. You should feel honored, mortal. No, no, there's no such thing. You're. This isn't funny anymore. Do you want me to live forever? Do you... to love someone else? No, please don't leave. I don't care what you are. Just don't leave me. That's great. Now do something to show me you care. What can I do to show my appreciation? I bend over the table as I said. Beforehand, but very well. Let's see what the game thinks I could do. You have any money on you? I'm feeling famished. Share your blood with me. Tell me a little bit out of yourself. Okay, first, your pockets. Um, here, 
Here, that's all I've got. <laughs> okay. I can kind of buy two more mags for my Glock with that. Kind of. Well, tell me about yourself. Me? I'm not so special, you know? I go to college. I'm majoring in fashion design. I think I'm pretty creative. I just started school a year late because my... My parents died. Um, car crash. I didn't really have anyone special in my life until you came along. Nice. That life's over now. Now you belong to me. Always remember this, Sador. I understand. About your appearance, change it. The color of your hair is what um, strikes uh, me the most. Uh, 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 triggering? No. Okay. I like it dark and gothic. And now I'm going to see you change. Unless you go somewhere weird. Very well. Is she leaving? I think she's leaving. Kaboom. Now take this shotgun whilst you're out, okay? No. She just went down. Very well. You are weird, but so am I. Did you miss me? Judging by the way the boards lit up, I'd say you couldn't live without me. You make me feel so desirable, LA. Email. So many callers, Sunrise. So many time. If you don't get through to me tonight, don't let it break your heart. I'm here each and every AM. So keep dialing those magic numbers and just maybe you'll be as lucky as this caller. What's your name, Night Owl? Hello, Greg. Up late, aren't we? Well, there, Deb. I work a night shift here at the power plant pretty much alone, and the only thing that gets me through this shift is your pretty little voice. Thank you, Greg. Well, I imagine if you're as half as pretty as your voice, then uh, you're the prettiest woman in the city. Aren't you the gentleman? Greg, there's a little thing called too much information. Caller, you're whiling away the evening with the Deb of Night. Good evening, Deb. Yes, I think that's implied by the title of the show. <laughs> okay, that's going to be a uh, Zimichi guy. Zimichi or Zimichi? Zimichi Bichi. Oh yeah, uh, have I uh, increased my stats? No, my lockpicking is still free. Well, down we go. Clean this, we are yeah. Very well. Now we are going, hopefully, if everything is going alright, to destroy that. Uh, Plague Barrel Fellow. Now, granted, for that to work, I actually need to fucking find him once again. Which apparently is harder than I thought. Is it that? 
I think it is. Yes. Yes. Boom. Question, do I have to fight your zombies once again? That seems like a no. This one? Not this one. There we go. I'm going to do a save once again. And try our luck. One more time. Okay, that happened. Okay, sure. Did I have an extra fortitude? I did not. And that was a whoops from my part. Okay, I'm literally deleting them from existence for some reason. I don't mind, not at all. Yeah, I'm going to do another save because that's going to save me a little bit of time, I presume. Ah, welcome, sister. Welcome, bitch. Are they go. Uh, blah, 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 No. Bitch, I should have used fortitude. Ow. Now it's time for fortitude. Ow. I should be dealing with you first and foremost. He's going to kill me. Yep. Okay, we are doing better now. But I still need to... Uh... Sister, they go. Go ahead. You talk. No, the time.
If I can, I will in fact chase this. Because the most important thing I want is having these guys out of the picture, because they are indeed annoying. Oh, for fuck's sake! But I press C. Come on, do the attacking! Attack! Attack already! Okay, you want to play that game? Fine. Come on. Be my guest. Bitch. <sighs> this is stupid. Anything lootable? Okay, that's just a wall thing, a magic. Sure. Let's check the necromantic. Okay, not that. Uh, which was the plague bearer? Playing with pestilence? No. Fun with pestilence. More fun with pestilence. Yeah. Kill Bishop Vic. Okay. We didn't miss anything. Glorious. That means I can just fucking get the fuck back.
What? Where am I going? Oh, it instantly gets me out of there. Sure. Okay, I will report to the guy. Hi. Yep. Hello, neonate. How can I be of assistance? Of course. I saw the problem uh, with the epidemic. You have? Impressive, young one. What exactly was the source of the epidemic? It was a blood cord headed by a vampire named Bishop Wick, a plague bearer. Tell me of this so called bishop. He wanted to bring about the end of the world. I see. That end may very well be upon us. But to business. I have a debt to pay you for your services. Yes, you do. If you so desire, I can give to you a unique talisman that might be of use in the future. If that does not interest you, I can compensate you with hard currency. You decide. I'll tell you that item you are talking about. A wise decision, Neonate. True power lies not in wealth, but in the things it affords you. I hope this object serves you well. There is one more thing I needed. Of course. Question. What is it you would like to know? What do you know about the Ankara sarcophagus? No more than yourself. But I do know that LaCroix is much too focused on acquiring it. His obvious need for it reveals a weakness that his enemies may one day exploit. What do you think is inside of it? I do not know. Although I must admit that I sense a change in the night air, something subtle and not altogether pleasant. Perhaps the arrival of the sarcophagus is the harbinger of something more dreadful. Like what? I will say no more. Well, in that case, I'm out of here. Thank you for the talisman, though. All kindred have the innate power to push their uh, undead bodies to the height of mortal capacity. But only for a moment, on the dire cast of blood. This eldritch shrine was well crafted to boost its ability. Blood buff have twice the duration. Oh, oh, give me something that is actually useful, like, you know, making my blood buff stronger. Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, by the way, we have an hour left. Well, kind of. I mean, it's not a bad thing, but I'm only using blood buff to... No, oh, eat my dick. I'm only using blood buff... ...for lockpicking. Don't worry. Soon your uh, task of protecting the city from filth is going to be over. Now I'm going to go for a damsel and claim her love as well. Okay, love is a strong word. Appreciation is a better one. Into the very loud house we go. <laughs> all the plague, plague bearers are dead. You killed all of them? You. <laughs> so I guess you want me to thank you or something? Damn it. Thanks, okay? Well, cool for now, but just don't go bragging to everybody about it. I will tell the whole city about our increasing. Companionship.
Ej, Arna, co wada jedna, Arna, co? Stela być, chyba ty na go dwie. Hey, damn, are you seeing me so soon? Why don't you join the Camarilla? You know what I just said about being all right? I take it back. You're as rotten as the rest. Go crawl back into your tower. Handle our own shit now. Hey, you're such a cutie. Look on your nose. Time's up. Come around in a few minutes if you're still alive. Maybe I'll have time to kill, but I doubt it. Ah, you are the most cool guy ever. Hey there, kiddo. What's up? More tasks for the prince. We're headed now. Hollywood Hills. Why? Uh, I already told you. Last melee, I can not. Okay, I'm checking that. In this back alley, so I'm going to do the C. Oh, yeah, I should not have that out. Pass these guys around. Anyway, you have eradicated the plague bearers from the Los Angeles. You have killed the plague bearers and uh, reported back to the regent. Glorious. Now we only have to deal with. Uh, unknown location across the street from a bar. Actually. Isn't that here somewhere? Near the underpass across the street from bar. Is this it? Is this, this is going to be it. Holy shit. I'm going to find such a good booty here. I saw you. A moment, please. Okay, then. I presume this is muddy. Let me see your face. Ah, yeah, you're not going to be alright. Oh my. That reflection. Anywho, are you going to do this to me right now in this very moment? Yes, you will. Carstaro, of course. Lucky Star Rookie. You discovered the latest victim of serial killer. He's torn up like uh, the other victim in Santa Monica Pier. You found the shattered body of Milton at an abandoned warehouse, but the Durbin was nowhere to be found. Did find a key to the Lucky Star Motel, though. I think that's a place in Hollywood. Okay. I tore that shit up. Hi there. Did, did, did you see it? What did you see? These two guys, that guy, another, and uh, they showed up. I've been living here, so I hid. I thought maybe they was owners or, or cops come to clean the place out. Who was the other guy? A dead fella called him Muddy. 
saw this dead guy and Maddy, what they were doing here. Uh, they was waiting on someone. They were going to do some kind of job, they were saying. But the person they was meeting, well, he was late. So the one guy leaves to find the phone and call him, and the, and the dead guy stayed. Oh, well, that's when the killer, that's when he showed up. Showed up. One second he wasn't there, and then he was. Like out of the shadows, he come up. Scared the shit out of the dead guy. I'd like to scream, but I couldn't breathe. Then what happened? Oh, that killer, he grew these claws. I swear it, I saw it. And the dead guy went white like he'd seen the devil. And then the killer grabbed him round the neck and lifted him up and started cursing at the guy. What did he say? Oh, I couldn't hear too good. Something about revenge for what he did or what they did. The killer made sure the dead guy knew who he was and then ripped him open. It just tore him apart. He did it real slow and made the guy scream. If you tell anyone that story, they'll lock you up forever. You should live now. Okay, okay, I will. I don't want to never think about that again. You better do. Now give me a humanity, bitch. No. Okay, can I take this as a souvenir? I mean... Okay, it would be really hard to... <laughs> <laughs> Why are you kicking your own head? Stop kicking your head. Stop kicking your head. Stop kicking your head. <laughs> okay, I'm kind of fucked up. Oh, FIFA. We tried to a bomb inside the abandoned warehouse. The scene of the latest grizzly murder. The bomb witnessed the killing and told the, with the killer grew close and lit the victim apart by saying something about a revenge. Oh yeah. Glorious indeed. So what am I supposed to do now? Well, go to the lucky um, fuck you hotel. But for that, I will need to visit the mansion. I don't know though if we have any other side quests. Opa. What I will definitely need to do Wait, I think I actually passed that stuff that I need to find Because what I need to find is my Whatever it's called Le home No, that just leads, leads me to the other alley. Okay, I'm officially lost. Would be nice if I could just zoom like the Bruja. But sadly, celerity is not an option for the Ventru. This for the gangrel and the brochetto. Hey oh look, there, cathedral. So now that the fight is over, uh hey, 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 hey. I'm gonna have a little bit of a sippy from Heather. Our little ghoulie friend. Eh, or like slave to be perfectly honest, but still. 
and should I? Very well. Anything I can do for you? I feel from me share your blood with me. Please take me inside of you. That's a weird thing to say, but okay. Sometimes a man can't help himself. No. What is that? Holding this rock of ember stone gives you a sense of peace and even a glimmer of hope for salvation. You are able to hold the effect of most uh, passive disciplines longer as long as you possess the Galjum. The duration are increased by 25%. That's going to be very interesting with the fortitude thing I have. I haven't felt that way since Brad Pitt got married. Emil? Do you have any idea how you Nothing new, very well. We are not even close to be full, so... We will need to drop down to our pot bank. AKA the weird cathedral club. And try to seduce that nice looking broad in there. Hey there. I just wanted to see if your voice was uh, just as angelic as you. It is. You are. Really? Sure, baby. No, do as your mama commands and cut me off some sweet. Are you undressing me with your eyes? Got a picture in your head? Good. That's as close as you're ever gonna come to seeing me naked. Mm hmm. No, I thought I'm getting a fat uh, raise at work. May the day then I saw you. Um, so who are you? <laughs> uh, I don't look familiar. Don't watch a lot of porn, do you? Let me get my coat. I left it with a guy who'll be getting some off me tonight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> me? Every last pound of you. <laughs> oh my gosh! You're serious? Okay, apparently we still don't have enough seduction points in there. Do we want? More selection points in there. Can we get enough selection points in there? Yes. Yes, we do. Second round, bitch. Mm -hmm. Blah. Um, so, who are you? I 
<laughs> Everything you ever wanted to install them, I'm working on modesty. <laughs> I have something I want to tell you, come closer. This, this is just weird. Boom! CP over. Hi there. Money, right? Come back in a few nights. I'll have another word for you. I don't see I... enough sitting out there. Well, come out and I don't do it on the dance floor or maybe hanging you from doors. Also, nice view. Kinda looks like that uh, she is afraid of the cage itself or something. Which is weird. Ah! I got stuck. Anywho. So, guy's supposed to have a mansion somewhere. I don't know where though. Oops! Dropped something. Okay, public library does run to have a better hospital and sure compassion, parking, return theater, skyline apartment, empire arms. We have problems. They might need to go with the taxi. Need a ride? Yeah, yeah. Yep. We need to do this this way. You. What are you doing here? I was just in the neighborhood. Out now. You're feeling alright, man? You should get out of here. This place is bad news. Uh, pardon me. Why? Wow, what's inside? Apparently, I fucked up camera angle. Will we be able to finish this? Question. Let's get inside. Ow. 
Старый был. Они мы уровью. It is quite peculiar the happenings I've been made to witness for my supernatural longevity. I am thinking of one unfortunate phenomenon in particular of unique interest to my station both as a professional and as a sufferer of this vampiric condition. It seems the stream of time has begun to erode the moorings of my chosen course of study, for the methodologies that gave birth to psychology are slowly disappearing. I find myself in an era that overlooks the physical component of psychological pathology time and again in favor of the sophistic practices of Freud. Phrenology, dactopintalism, and the rest of the old god has fallen by the wayside, its champions all silenced in death, with my unique exception. Would that I could make my voice heard again, although it may be suspicious should I return to popular medical discourse fifty years after my apparent death. <sighs> no, better that I continue my studies into the psychoses in secret. One day, may I hold up my own cure as validation of the methods. I am confident no cure for my condition or that of my beloved wife lies within our figurative minds waiting to be unlocked by the correct combination of memories recovered from our childhoods. And I'm most certain it has nothing to do with the relationship between myself, my parents, and my genitals. Sorry, Sigmund, but I choose to stay my course. In time, too, may your star fade and disappear. Why can't I open you? Another unfortunate casualty to tide of time, insane asylums. I lament their loss not only as brokerage houses for the breadth and depth of human psychosis, but also I shall mourn the disappearance of that peculiar environment present only in an insane asylum. That palpable atmosphere of blistered brains and churning bowels. What did I just get myself? A Vika Pook Thistle. This petrified her reed was not meant to fall into the hands of the damned. But vampires can benefit from its shamanistic magic all the same. Increases defense by one point. That's the odiferous true. melange of freely flowing bodily humors. That gently rolling cacophony of distant sobs and screams. The muttered cursing at perceived enemies. And the blissful gurgling the lobotomized, like a newborn babe discovering the sky. Hmm. Eh, I shall still find test subjects as surely as I find bloody sustenance in the night, but this climate, I fear, may never be replicated. Glorious. No. There we go. That was easy. <laughs> Can I still play with them? Potentially.
Up you go. Thank you. Oh, you fucking. Nom. That was good. Very well. I can see through the walls. How dare you mock me with your clothes? You weird BDSM, whatever the hell you are. Uh, question How much time do we have left? Uh, roughly 40 minutes. Very roughly. Often I reflect with great regret on the missed opportunity that was my infector. Had I been conscious after the attack, I could have stopped the orderlies from locking her in the roaming pen. What I would give for just one interview, a few simple questions of the plague-ridden woman who met her end that dawn. Of course, there is no guarantee she would have been any more helpful than my current crop of test subjects, mewling wretches. Few could be called enthusiastic. Given the nature of the tests, I cannot expect the same fervor from all, but a modicum of cooperation would be appreciated. Animals. The one called John went so far as to gnaw off his arm and escape into the floorboards like some feral rodent. I still hear him scurrying about at night. He must be making an atrocious mess in there. Yeah, it might be just because you are, you know, Markavium, and you make people insane around you. My boy, you are dead. My studies proceed at a languid pace. I'm mired in a foul ennui as my wife's illness advances. My subjects grow restless without proper supervision, but I cannot pull myself back from this black depression. How many nights I've wasted now, gazing from the tower walk, pondering the frailty of existence. That's it. Sure, that's it. My studies proceed at a languid pace. I'm mired in a foul ennui as my wife's illness advances. My subjects grow restless without proper supervision, but I cannot pull myself back from this black depression. How many nights I've wasted now, gazing from the tower walk, pondering the frailty of existence. Yep, that's apparently it. Okay, that was a very short one.
I think I have killed you. Shut the fuck up. Okay, her ghost still haunts me. Move along. Yeah. Wanted to hit me with those aggravated claws now, didn't you? Don't worry now. Are we able to jump with your little girly friends here? I will snap their back without any problem, wretch. There she goes. And now, the last one. There you go. And that's a human torso. Okay, where should we go? Well, not that way because it's apparently locked. I guess this way with the blood stain. Ah, back to where we are from. Which means if I open it from this way. Yes. All makes sense now. After decades of solitary study into this affliction, I have learned that it is by no means mine alone. Indeed, the city is home to an entire society of similarly afflicted individuals with whom I've only recently made contact. They are an understandably standoffish sort, by and large, but I have been able to confirm with them that the condition is indeed vampirism, which apparently comes in a multitude of strains, each with a spectacular set of symptoms such as invisibility and even a sort of lycanthropy. Through numerous official interactions with the governing body of this secret society, I have concluded that their fundamental understanding of the vampiric condition is woefully lacking and mired in suspicion and pseudo-religious dogma that would make a Turk balk for its strictures. Indeed, they seemed impressed with my studies and the eloquence with which I was able to present them. Apparently, the typical sufferer of my particular strain of vampirism is far from the vanguard of the King's English. So impressed were they that they even offered me an office in their government, a rather high office by the sound of things, I believe I shall accept. If nothing else, it should provide a lofty vantage point from which to observe the breadth and epidemiology of the affliction so that I may move more expeditiously toward a cure. Don't worry, I'm going to do the exact same to you as before. <laughs> Damn 
Dunzo. How dare you? How dare you? You will be eating my dick. Up we go. Ooh, nice. Either. Chaos, like the mind, can be understood only through the scientific process. Order, however, is only as good as the perception tarot. <laughs> Time is the key that links the two and bears witness their ebb and flow. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a freaking... What's your name? I have accepted the role of Primogen for Clan Malkavian. The dreadfully winsome label applied to the particular strain of vampirism I suffer, so named for some supposed vampire father figure of old, more poppycock grown from a backward culture that seems interminably drawn to children's tales and the fiction of Victorian romance when it should concern itself with the science behind their suffering. No matter, for I have taken this office for no greater reason than to advance my research. I must make mention, however, that even among my would-be peers in this governing body of vampires, the level of paranoia and superstition is frightening. Their intelligence is not the question, no, indeed. As they courted me for this appointment, I had to suspect that their overtures were hand tailored to what must be my obvious infatuation with reason, for the devil would do well to have such honey-tongued tempters. Even so, I could not help but notice the dressing of language these vampire leaders chose for their siren song. Whether it is born of habit, from addressing their unwashed, ill-educated subjects, or from their own deep-seated beliefs, their linguistic flourishes belie a faith in superstition over the providence of empirical reason that must be an all-pervasive theme in this society of darkest night. Damn it all, now I'm doing it too. That's cute. So, chaos, like the mind, can be understood only through the scientific process of order. However, it is only as good as the perception thereof. Time is the key that links the two and bears witness to their flow. So, first, mind, order, and perception. Mind, order... Time is the key. Okay, so mind and order. Zut. You are perception. You are time and you are mind. So... Mind... Perception Time 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 Perception Okay, so we have uh, mind, perception, and time. It does it, Lilik.
Okay, so we have mind, time, perception. Eh. Perception at once shapes the mind. Rules over time. Time, however, erodes the human perception and then turns the to the mind. The mind is capricious, having various effects on the perception, time, and the mind itself. Harmonic progress is made. Uh... Oops. <laughs> Did 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 it? So through time you get find and perception. I don't know what I should be doing. Kind of looks fucked up on your right. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna check that one out once again. Hey, why do you need to do this? Chaos, like the mind, can be understood only through the scientific process of order, however, it is only as good as perception, though. Time is the key that links the two and bears a witness to that the flow. Why did I do that again? Doink. Okay, so we have opened these. What about this one? Ah, okay. Very well. I might need fucking topics in that case. Because now it's pretty fucking obvious. I'm just going in circles. So let's get these guys all turned up. Chaos and order. Oh, because I should be playing with these instead. So, chaos like mine can be understood through the scientific process. Order, however, is only as good as perception thereof. Time is the key that brings the two and bears witness to them and flow. Okay.
There we go. Because stupid Lizotan doesn't fucking see what he is doing. Okay, I'm going to save now and check something else. Also, I'm going to check. Yes, we still have at least 20 minutes. So, if you don't mind, I'm just gonna go. What the fuck is that? Maybe if you were a bit more goth, you would have a clue what this thing is. You will need research skill of at least 4 for this item. Oh, you are bitching. My research skill... Tarul Fang. This heavy fang could only have uh, belonged to a ferocious predatory beast. You feel that the... But is knowing there is one less of these in the world decreases the chance to flounce it. Quite frankly, I don't care. Glorious, isn't it? Nice. Double nice. Now let's go and finish up with this BS. And where do we go? Is there a thing for me to steal? It would be nice giving me a few loot. That I can uh, deal with. Yoink, 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 yoink. Oh, I should have stopped using it. Oops. But it should have uh, increased duration. Why did it?
Okay, I'm going to get most of them killed. This way, and I'm going to save one. For a CP. Yeah, there is two of them here. Don't forget Zotan, now you need to do the F. Off you fuck. Now that we have uh, cleared this place, let's see if there is anything of note. That doesn't seem to be Sadler. Did I just do this for shits and giggles? I will also to replenish. No, there is a laboratory refuge to keep. That I don't need because I just, you know, log lock picked it. As I expand my dealings with the vampire government, I have encountered a disturbing new symptom of this affliction. Frequently, in conversation, I will hear voices emanating from other vampires. Voices that are not their own, but which seem to have insight into their lives beyond what I could gather from simple conversation. These voices seem to echo from deep within my fellow vampires, and I cannot be certain if this symptom belongs to my strain of the illness or theirs. For the voices are various and inconsistent. I dare not mention this symptom to my vampiric peers, for they have proven themselves true predators to whom I could be loath to reveal any sign of weakness. Indeed, these voices have counseled me against confessing their presence, and until I can confirm their source, I will listen. The information the voices have given me ranges from curious to frightening. The latter case is especially true of one powerful vampire whose name I shall not commit to recording in the interests of self-preservation. That's going to be... Okay. Did I just... Yeah, I can face through this chair. Does it work from this side? Yeah. The top part of the chair doesn't exist. Wait. Wait, wait. No, I cannot grab the freaking used toilet thing. She's in the wrong direction. Could I distract them with something? I think there are items that I can grab from here. Grab it? Grab it, grab it. Not even these. I just need distraction.
Come. Yeah, that was up. Bad choice. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, in that case I'm going to play with the clone guy. Come. There you go. Come on, play with me. Mom. Glorious. It was a bit more... Uh... to lose seems like so that's a body I'm gonna eat you. You are food. You are just a snack. Nothing here either. Uh, obvious. Trapdoor is obvious. Where did you come from, you? Fucker. I'm gonna have my fill. I can see shit. Which inconveniences me.
Oh. A singular one. Why do you have vampiric abilities to first do aggravated damage, second to, you know, zoom into my face? The voices have increased in frequency and direction of late. They have begun to stay with me long after conversation has ceased and are serving as quite a distraction. I fear others are beginning to notice my preoccupation at the vampire gatherings. I am thinking again of the particular vampire of whom I spoke previously, who I dare not name for my growing fear. If the voices are to be believed, then my caution is warranted, for they speak of his blackest crimes, both past and future. More than once, I have seen the suspicion in his eyes and heard the distrust in his voice when speaking with me. The fear must register on my face, as it is all I can do in these moments to keep from crying out in chorus with the voices. You're quite insane, but that's what you love. You're Malkavian. Or Vita Malkavian. Oh, hi. I am no longer safe. I know it. The voices. What did I do once again? Oh. Back in there, I want to listen to that thing. I am no longer safe. I know it. The voices have proven themselves authentic, and I have withdrawn from the vampire society entirely. My absence will no doubt draw attention, but I could no longer hold my fragile composure around the ravenous eyes of my vampire peers, especially not around him. The voices compelled me to make what I fear is a Faustian bargain, but I had to, for their demands are constant and merciless. I have secluded myself within the mansion. I know he will strike out in me. He will go to any length to achieve his ambitions, and he knows it, I know. I have taken precautions to protect my beloved wife. Her cure will have to wait until our immediate safety is guaranteed. The mansion was constructed with security in mind, but at that time I was not privy to the full range of vampire capabilities. The voices echo in the twisted corridors of my psyche, dark whisperings... Okay. That's a dead woman. Okay, that was weird. And it apparently opens the fucking lock. Did I do the fuck up? I think I have mines. Ah, 
Scout is dead? Pity Oops. could not be by my hand. No matter. Soon your self-made kings and false prophets and all who bear the mark of the beast will be washed from the earth for the coming of the Lord. Who the hell are you? As you burn, tell them it was Greenfeld Bach who sent your damned soul to that lake of fire. All agents of Satan shall return to whence they came. Let this righteous display serve as a promise to all who serve the arch fiend Lacroix. I'm coming for you, Lacroix. By the power of the Lord, I will cleanse your black soul. Yeah, whatever. I think I missed up. Oh, for fuck's sake. What's the name of this quote? Calling Dr. Grout. Okay, I think I just missed a freaking... Uh... All right. Sure. Oh, I forgot the freaking bottle of morphine. And another bottle of morphine. I freaking forgot the drugs. Shit. Yeah, and the uh, other room that we missed because stupidly I went for the quest and now it's logged. It was Kent Alan Ryan's room, the guy who. Um, sire, not sired because he, she just was a ghoul. She was just a ghoul, that's what I tried to say. Don't mind me, I'm getting the fuck out. Ow. Just fucking touching them makes me... Okay, not going there.
No, you don't. You ain't catching me. What do you do for that matter? Well, we lost a few drugs and uh, also point the remains of the other guy, which is sad. Extremely sorry, to be perfectly honest. Anyway, holster. Alright, we are at home. Let's see how much time do we have left. None. Alrighty. Sorry folks, but uh, we have to finish today. Thank you for watching. I was Zolonius, and I hope to see you back in my time with uh, more uh, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Also, for the Twitch viewers, please uh, check out my YouTube, and for my YouTube viewers, please check out my Twitch. Bye!